Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I got a really awesome indicator. We're gonna go through some tickers. Um, it is called the Ripster EMA Cloud. It is made by Ripster, who is a pretty well-known trader. Uh, he gives a lot of interviews, gives a lot of tips and um, instructions and, and different philosophies on trading on YouTube. Um, so I highly encourage you to check them out. Uh, now I did modify his indicator. It is free on trading view. Um, so a couple things that I did is I changed the colors. I put it all green for uptrend and I put it all red for downtrend just to give a little bit of an easier, simple um, way to look at the chart. He has different colors for different EMA clouds and that works just fine as well if you wanted to go that route. Uh, but I wanted to really simplify it for you. And then I also got rid of one of the clouds um, that I think that was the one that was down here that just kind of gave an overall kind of broad market like that. Um, I didn't find it too useful but you can definitely pull it up. Um, so one of the things that you should really understand about this indicator is that it is based off of moving averages. Um, so you have two relatively close moving averages that work with each other. And when one crosses above the other is when the color changes on the cloud. So it would be the same as if you just had two different close moving averages to each other. Um, and that gives you a different idea um, and extra confirmation because you have three of them just like using a uh, super trend for example versus a triple super trend this is kind of like the EMA version of a triple super trend so um, let's just go through some of it real quick so the S&P 500 right now has three green clouds right here you can see so we are in a strong uptrend on the S&P 500 and you can see that is actually very much uh, being brought up the broad market the S&P 500 is being heavily brought up by the tech sector as you can see so they have relatively mimicked each other very similarly and even this uptrend is similar the only difference is this is really strong compared to the S&P 500 so what you want to do with this strategy is you actually when you want to get into a uh, change in trend you want to see a bounce off of the cloud so if you're going if you're initially bearish right here and then you're starting to see the clouds change colors which is right here is a perfect example a bounce off of those clouds and as you form that third cloud down here is when you would want to go long and we can bring up just this little bit of a measurement here. If you went in on that signal, you were up 21% so far, and that is from back in uh, March. So 20% since March is a pretty pretty good trade. Um, so one thing to look at. Now, what I also really enjoy about this is it can actually tell you when to get in and out of a trade. So let's just say uh, you were looking to go short and maybe you missed this move right here and now you're starting to see the green cloud form. Well, as the price action goes below these other EMA clouds and this green cloud turns red once again, that is a sell signal to go back in. And we did it here and we did it here and we did it even right here. And then now we started to see the change where we are steadily above the clouds and now we have changed sentiment, right? So let's bring up a couple different tickers. Let's start with NVIDIA. Now NVIDIA has been hanging out up at this top here since uh, basically since earnings. And if we're going to recap here, I was playing a short a little bit right here because of how overbought the overall market was and because of this divergence on the TSI. Now I did end up closing out my shorts before earnings um, and that turned out to be a good decision. I have said that it is very risky to play uh, a trade through earnings and my plan was to uh, get out before earnings came and that is exactly why, right? So now the thing with this is if you're gonna wait for these clouds to all turn red because of how how much this stock just went up in a very short period of time you might actually miss the move on the daily so we can just bring up the four hour real quick right here and that might be something that you would want to play instead of the daily all right so let's just go back to the 
the one day time frame. And let's bring up AMD because I think AMD is actually a good example of something where you may want to be able to go long on and the reason why is because as uh, we've said before you want to you want to go long off of a bounce of these clouds right so you had a little bit of a red cloud and as that red cloud let's just zoom in so you can see it a little clearer as that red cloud disappeared and went into a green cloud you would go long and then you would either get out when you reached a certain percentage target which is what i recommend or when the cloud started turning uh, turning red again. Now, again, same example, you would start to go long here. And if you're in this trade, there's actually no indication as far as the indicator to sell out yet. If you're looking to go in, you actually do, as far as a long position, you actually do have a bounce off of this cloud so you can go long here as far as what this indicator is telling you and you can see that even though there was an inflection on the tsi and a little bit of lost momentum on the histogram that inflection has disappeared let's bring it up so i can show exactly what i'm talking about right so we didn't get this right we didn't get that we got this right here where it is now disappeared and this could run longer um, and that could give you some pretty good profits if you were to go long now there is a gap down here and we are overbought on the TSI and we have been in a pretty strong green uptrend on the histogram for quite a while so the best safe thing to do especially considering this gap here is if you're going to go long be okay with a little bit of a loss and maybe put a stop loss down at 104 now that's a $20 difference so that is a little bit steep of a loss um, and it is a little bit higher of a risk but you do have this bounce and I could see AMD for, at least for the next couple of days um, well for one retesting this but um, potentially blowing through this previous candle. If you blow through that previous candle, we can look at what the next high would be. And that would pretty much be right up around here at 153. Let's bring up the VRVP. And yeah, we don't have, we have diminished resistance on the VRVP up until about, uh, about 145, I guess right there is a little bit of consolidation. So. You're looking at about a $20 difference on each side, um, which is a one-to-one, -one, depending on your strategy. It could be something to get into. But again, if you just zoom out on any one of these tickers with this triple, um, well, it's the Ripster cloud, but I'm using it as a triple EMA cloud strategy. You can see that it is a very, very uh, reliable indicator. Um, and you can even play it on the weekly too. Let's just zoom out and go to the weekly. And let's go back through some of these tickers again. So see right here, this long uptrend on the triple, um, the triple green clouds here. Now we don't have that yet right here. And one thing that Ripster really does uh, talk about is is having all systems go on every sort of time frame, even going back to the monthly he suggested um, as well. So what we could see if we're in the if we really are in the next stage of a bull run, we could still see a little bit of a breather here before that third cloud forms. Um, and let's just go really quick back to the S and P 500 and the triple Qs. Uh, we have not fully had three green clouds yet, although you can see we are above water as far as a bear market. Uh, and let's just bring up the triple Qs real quick on the weekly. And we actually are seeing three clouds right here. So let's see the last time we saw three clouds on the triple Qs. And that would be right at the recovery point of COVID. So, um, take that with you what you will i think that is a really good sign although uh, again there it might be a little bit of a breather here but there could be some volatility but that's trading right you got to handle the volatility and look at the overall trends and that is one reason why i like swing trading versus day trading um so that's all i got for you today it is the ripster emi cloud it is free on trading view 
highly suggest you check it out. Uh, if you like this video, the very least that you can do is hit the like button. It helps out the channel tremendously. You have no idea unless you have a YouTube channel yourself. Um, but other than that, if you want to see more of my content, uh, other than liking, just subscribe and hit the notification bell so uh, you get all of the notifications for all my latest content. Until then, we'll see you next time. Thank you.